What would your dream home be? Would it be a home with amazing curb appeal that when you enter, you see this grand foyer that opens up into this massive two-story great room with a floor-to-ceiling brick fireplace that gives way to this beautiful cathedral ceiling with amazing wood truss accents? Or what about a giant kitchen island that has seating for five? So that's the question I have for you today, kind of what is your dream home? Now the home that I was just describing is the one I'm currently standing in and this is the modern hill country version of the Olivia floor plan by Schumacher Home. Now the Olivia is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home that sits inside an amazing 2,786 square feet. This is a customized site built home by Paul Schumacher Home. So you'll have the opportunity to work alongside some award winning home designers in order to bring your dream home to life. Now let's go ahead and get into the reason that you came here and that is to tour this home or hang out with me. I don't know which. Now the outside of this home is the modern hill country version. And when you first walk up, you are greeted with a tremendous amount of character. This home incorporates both stone, board and batten siding, shake and shingle siding, and of course, traditional vinyl siding. And there are just so many curves and nooks and crannies. It just really gives off this vibrant, fun feel. As you do walk around the home, you'll notice that it does have a two car garage. And then of course, venturing further around to the back of the home, you have this grand patio. And here it is set up with a grill and outdoor dining table and a little sitting area next to the fireplace. There are two great big sliding glass doors that enter into your dining room on the inside of the house that really give just an incredible amount of light. All right, now let's go check out the inside of this home. All right, y'all, <laughs> I don't know which one I love more. So I walked through the modern farmhouse the other day, which is the same kind of version as this home is, the Olivia. And I was super impressed by it, but I just walked into this one and my heart started racing. I loved it. All right, so when you first come into this home, you are greeted with this beautiful entrance that opens up into this wonderful foyer. As you enter the home to the right, you have this wonderful kind of, I would call it almost a cigar room, the way it's kind of decorated. But it is a flex room, so this room itself can be whatever you would like it to be, whether you want it to be an office or a study, or you kept it as like this kind of brandy cigar type room. Beautiful. Now to the left of that, when you enter, you do have a coat closet. beautiful wood shelves and then of course the foyer runs these wonderful plank floors and these run throughout pretty much the entire house right off of that you do have your half bath with the kind of shiplap back wall really nice i didn't even notice that your vanity with the undermount sink and your beautiful fixtures And then coming down the hall, you start getting a glimpse of this beautiful great room. Just opens right up, a wonderful chandelier. Beautiful ceiling with the wood beam accents. And then just, just this incredible floor to ceiling brick fireplace. Absolutely beautiful. And then of course the windows are just uh, beyond belief. Like <laughs> amazing. I don't even have words to describe it. Absolutely beautiful, huh? And then you do have 
the stairs leading up to the second story and the loft area and then you do have two bedrooms up there as well. Now right off of your great room you do have several doors the first of which is your basement access. And we'll go down here and show you the basement. You have your furnace. Just a huge area if you were to finish it out. Now as far as the basement itself, they do have eight foot tall steel reinforced concrete walls. So just absolutely incredible. And let me know down in the comments what you would put in here. Would you finish this out? Would you use it as storage? It's gonna turn into your bat cave. Let me know. And we're gonna get to the kitchen in just a second. I'm just teasing you guys with it because it's gorgeous. All right, right next to your basement access is your utility room. You have your washer and dryer hookups with some beautiful cabinets. And then opposite that, you have a bench area Take off your shoes, hang your coats, and then through this door is your garage. Now this is currently a two car garage, but if you wanted to make it a three car garage, that is something that you can definitely talk to your designer here at Schumacher Homes. All right. So look at this beautiful oversized island. I know y'all were, y'all were wanting to see it. <laughs> now you have the undermount sink. Humongous kitchen island. And then you have plenty of seats opposite the sink. Now as far as the cabinets and drawers, they are all soft clothes. Next to the sink you do have a dishwasher. And then you have this beautiful cooking area with all the counter space, a pot filler, your range hood, your cooktop, and this funky looking 3D geometric style backsplash. Really gives this home some, some depth and feel, I guess. You have your microwave and your oven. your refrigerator with the double doors and the freezer on the bottom. Ooh, an Electrolux. This one's new. I don't think I've toured a home with an Electrolux. Man, oh man, fancy. The light comes on and everything, like brightens as you open it. And then you have the freezer on the bottom. Ooh, that's fancy. And then right next to that, you do have some more extra counter space, maybe perfect for like a coffee pot or something like that. Now, this home has a butler's pantry. So you have your sink, some cabinets, your wine refrigerator, and then on the opposite side, you have all of these beautiful shelves. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without that window looking out to something incredible. Now, this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the entire house, just because of all the light that it brings. 
and then the ceilings just really man this i think this is definitely my dream home right here so you have this wonderful formal dining area with sliding doors out onto your porch and patio all right now let's go ahead and peek again at the fireplace as we work our way upstairs and we will check out both the bonus room and the two bedrooms up here. So when you first come up to the left of the landing is your first of the two bedrooms, but I kind of wanted to pan around real quick and just give y'all the beautiful picture up here into your great room. Oh my goodness. All right, coming into the first of the two bedrooms. Absolutely beautiful. With the trellis style wainscoting. A really big room. And then you do have the double doors leading into your closet. With a beautiful big closet. Now, from here, we're gonna go through the Jack and Jill bathroom in order to get to the second room. So right off of this room is your vanity. And there is one vanity on this side. And then just off the other room, there's another vanity. And in between the two is your water closet. You have your toilet and your shower and tub combo with the tile surround. And then you enter into the second of the two bathroom areas. Now in this one, the closet for this bedroom that we're about to go into is here in the bathroom. So beautiful shelving and then into the second bedroom. Again, now all the carpet in this home is here in these two bedrooms. And then from here you come into your loft, which overlooks your great room and again has all the beautiful light, perfect for your kids. And then your view over the edge and into your great room. Now for the final piece of this wonderful home, of course, it's the master suite. And I have not been into this bathroom yet. I've been into other Olivia bathrooms, but I have not been into this one. So, you come into this kind of mini hallway and that opens up into your beautiful bedroom. Again, huge lights, amazing ceiling design. The brick accent wall. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's brick. Beautiful home. And then look at that view all the way through your bathroom and into your master closet with the gorgeous garden tub. You're already catching a glimpse of it. And then of course your shower, the glass surround. 
So when you first come into the bathroom to the left, you do have your water closet with your toilet. And then there are two closets in this bathroom. So this is the first of the two. Again, it goes from the tile in the bathroom to the plank floors in the closet. Coming out of that one, following around the room, you do have your second closet. And then you do have two vanities, one on either side of this bathroom, both with the undermount sink and the beautiful countertops. From there you have your walk-in shower with the glass surround, the tile floor, and all of these beautiful windows. Four windows just letting in all of the light. And then your wonderful garden tub, really just setting this bathroom off. Oh my God. All right, what do you guys think? I actually love this version of the Olivia. I have toured the modern farmhouse version of this floor plan and it was every bit as beautiful. So that will be up on the channel if it's not already. As far as price, this version of the Olivia is gonna start at about $389,000. Now, of course, that price can change due to a whole wide variety of factors. So it may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. Now, let me know in the comments below if this home met your dream home criteria. I really wanna know. It's really close to meeting all my requirements. It is, it's amazing. Now, if you want more information on this home or Paul Schumacher Homes, I'll leave the link for them down in the description. I'm getting ready to go hop in that bathtub in there. I was actually gonna do the outro in the bathtub, but I thought it was gonna be a little weird, so I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go sit in it for a little bit by myself. Just kinda, thanks for hanging out. My name's Timothy, I'll see you in the next one. See, I told you it was gonna be weird. <laughs> Get out of here.